We're look, working on a project to be able to uh, determine ways to control the potato psyllid. The potato psyllid is a vector of a disease called zebra chip in the potatoes. And what we're trying to do uh, with this project, working with Dr. Charlie Rush, is to identify different methods that could be used to determine when to control the potato psyllids. And so what we want to do is to reduce the amount of insecticides that's being applied and at the same time reduce our incidence of uh, our zebra chip. One of the methods that we're looking at is looking at sticky traps as a way to trap the psyllids and then uh, making determinations of when to treat based on the number of psyllids on the sticky trap. We also are collecting leaves and looking for immature psyllids. We are making decisions on making treatments based on the number of psyllids we have on the, the plants. Currently to control uh, potato psyllids on potatoes, uh, we're spraying potatoes about nine to ten times each year. We put down a planting time treatment, and then once the potatoes are up, and about 30 to 40 days after that treatment's been applied, come back in and start doing additional chemical applications about a week apart through the rest of the season. My involvement with this research is to kind of look at the spraying sequences that we're doing currently, uh, using standards that uh, farmers have been using over the last few years, and then we're including different chemical compounds in some of those sequences in places of some of the traditional chemicals and also hopefully in the long run maybe eliminate some of the sprays if we can get good control of the psyllids reduce the amount of uh, chemical com or the chemical sprays that are needed on a season which would reduce costs but still wanting to protect the plants from the psyllids and the transmission of uh, disease in addition we're trapping potato psyllid adults on these sticky traps we collect the adults off of the traps each week, and then we take them into the lab, and Dr. Rush's lab looks to see if the psyllids have the bacterial disease, and uh, some of our treatments are then scheduled around the presence of psyllids that have the disease. We planted these uh, potatoes in the early week, uh, early part of April, and they came up about a month later. And so these right now, uh, you can see these little tubers that are forming. Uh, these have been out of the ground now, the, or the plants have been out of the ground for about five weeks. And we have the study out behind us with the cages where we're introducing psyllids over time uh, to kind of see how disease develops uh, with different uh, onsets or arrival of psyllids. And so if psyllids come early in the season, uh, how is it going to impact disease in the tubers at harvest? Uh, we're doing this in collaboration with Jerry Michaels and Dr. Eddie Bynum uh, in some of the chemical work that they're doing.